Hello, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are in uh, Castlewood, Virginia, St. Paul area. Um, and we're on uh, 19 Victor Alpha, Line W. We're going to take off and follow the Clinch River uh, east toward the headwaters. So let's go ahead and uh, get airborne here. We yeah, got fuel. I mean, we got flaps. We have a little bit of fuel. That's enough to get us to Tazzle. And here we go, out of uh, Castlewood. Full throttle. Got a little bit of wind. We're airborne. We'll come out over uh, 58 here. We'll make a right hand turn. Castlewood is off that way. No flaps. And we'll pick up the uh, Clinch River shortly here. Clinch River fascinates me. I mean, it's just. Of course, it's the local big river to me. <clears throat> See St. Paul off in the distance. Probably won't need to go any higher than this right here, maybe. Okay, we've got the Clinch River coming through St. Paul. Gray Hill. And the river is out in front of us. Very good, very good, very good. Kind of looking over the nose. Uh, so we're flying up to Tazewell. We're going to pass uh, a couple of places. Uh, Honeaker, Cleveland. Should be able to see the power plant soon as well. But uh, the river is kind of interesting in this part. To me. To me. Uh, I don't know why it does it, why it did it. But uh, you'll kind of get my meaning here in just a moment. If if you if you think about ridges and valleys, you know you got this ridge line right here. This is this ridge line. <clears throat> well, everything on this side of the ridge line will uh, water tends to follow the entire valley. You know it tends to. Until it hits some rock or whatever and it cuts through a, a different way. And that's what happens here with the clinch. You can see we're flying up this nice little valley right here. And you would think, well, the river stays on this valley. So we got the river below us. Clinch River, Slow River. Thinking about doing a flight all the way from the headwaters to uh, the lake where it empties into. I, I forget which one's Douglas or Norris. I forget. Uh, down in Tennessee. <clears throat> I have to keep an eye out because somewhere right here it cuts through <clears throat> and jumps over to the other ridge over there. Now I am flowing, I'm going upriver, upriver. So 
So when I say it cuts through, it's actually coming this direction. As well as the train track. Uh, well, even the train track follows this valley. Doesn't come out of this valley. But the river jumps the, jumps the ridge here. And then later, it comes back. <laughs> it comes back. This is uh, Carterton Bridge. I believe we might see the power plant over here. If I... Yeah. Up, up here. Yeah. So we've got um, Carbo. Carbo Power Plant. a big part of the Clinch River. <clears throat> Cooling waters. Coal fire plant. And the river is still on this side of the ridge line here. You, know, you can see all the cars. So we're still following the clinch. Altimeter wasn't working there. I had to reset that. Two and a half thousand feet above sea level. <clears throat> following the clinch river east. Coming up on Cleveland, you got Ivy Ridge and everything over this way. <laughs> Cleveland Bridge. And then the road runs uh, south over into uh, Lebanon. Up and over the mountain. We're going to stick over here in this same valley following the Clinch River. takes a big turn uh, north right here but just for a short distance and then comes back I guess it's hitting all these during the uplift you know in my mind I have no idea thousands and thousands of years ago millions of years ago that's probably what carved this out but then you know each time the plate shifted or rammed into another plate created these bends and folds in these ridges and valleys here that's why this looks different from everything kind of south of here. It's all bigger valleys and big mountain over there is uh, John Douglas Wayside. This is uh, down near Archer. Try to get a little altitude. <clears throat> And now the river jumps to this side. 
Hello. What happened? Why? Why did it jump? <clears throat> now, it's interesting when you're looking at it, you know, from above. When you're looking at it. I mean, if we were following that ridge, uh, that valley right there, even the train comes down. The train was like, hell, man, this is the uh, easiest route. This is why did the clinch jump here? <clears throat> It's actually, at this point, it's finding its way back to that valley. It's over here struggling to get back to where it started, basically. Way up there, it comes back over. So right in this area, this little place that we're looking at on screen right now, <clears throat> uplifted? I, I have no idea. Did it uplift? Did I think maybe Big A Mountain, which is right over there, obscured by the clouds, had something to do with it, I think, but I don't know. Not a geologist. I just play one on, I just slept at a <laughs> hotel last night. So. Uh, what is that commercial? Slept in a Holiday Inn last night. So you can see how it's it's on this side now. It's nowhere near where you would think it was always staying close to. I mean, maybe there was some uplift. And the valley is still there. The valley didn't disappear. The train went right down it. And we'll be back over there shortly. <clears throat> you see here, we're following this slow, meandering river. As it cuts its way, and you can see, just round and round, finding these uh, little valleys to cut through. We're just north of Lebanon. I'm not sure what valley they call this, or... What? No, we ride motorcycles down through here all the time. I just, I don't know. But now remember, this river was over there. It appears to me it was over there. At some, at some point, in it, I think it changed. Not a geologist. We have it on this side of the plane, but it's still in this side, this valley right here. Oh, yeah, some windage. Showing about five knots. Uh, not sure where we are. Doesn't look like, I mean, in this area, the satellite imagery didn't, didn't come through, so it's not that good looking. All along the Clinch River. Soon we'll be passing um, Route 80. Goes over to Big A Mountain, obscured in clouds there. You can see it. Nice. We still have the river. See the rock cliffs. <clears throat> Some altitude you might be able to see Hone Anchor. <clears throat> Uh, 
Now remember, we were over there following a, a kind of a valley up, but we crossed over here to follow the clinch, which is getting ready to make its way back over it <laughs> into that valley over there. It's just, it's wild. <clears throat> It's wild. Now that's Honeaker over there. All right, here's uh, Route 80 going up the hill after, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Blackford. I think this is Blackford. Blackford Bridge. <clears throat> crossing the Clinch River. Now, there is a smaller river that's coming down this one, and it meets the Clinch right here. So we're actually going to turn to follow the Clinch. That, that river doesn't go up that far. <clears throat> So we're going to turn north. Try to get my bearings. <clears throat> We have the Clinch River, yep, have the Clinch River here. I think this is a rock quarry. Um, Own Acres should be off the left wing. We're crossing this little ridge of hills again, getting back into, in my opinion, the original river where the original river ran, and then something happened that caused it to cut through here and go down that way until it got down to Cleveland and it comes back over. Uh, here's Honeaker. It's Honeaker uh, High School. You got Honeaker. I mean, even the Clinch River diverted around Honeaker. I mean, it's that's a bad little town. <laughs> so, we're coming around. Of course, it diverted around this big rock wall here. Of course it did. I mean, that's what rivers do. They find the least resistance and go around it. But something really stopped it from going back down. Yeah, and you can see the bends. The bends and the folds in these ridges and valleys. The rock quarry. Uh, this is the Swords Creek area. Lord's Creek. And below us is the river. Kind of came right back into this this valley. We've gained a little bit of altitude. We're no longer really low, but you can kind of see the train track. The train track is following the river. So I'm getting into a little bit of clouds here uh, east of Swords Creek. We'll try to get down out of the clouds here. There's no road that follows the river here. Uh, it's just the train tracks. The road is over in the next valley. So I just think it's weird when you look down this direction looking behind us. The river cuts its way over into that valley and follows it for a few miles and then finds its way back least resistance against that ridge line that we started following it back there in St. Paul, Castlewood. Hope we have clear visibility to land at uh, Richlands.
Oh, I think I see the airport right up here, maybe. Now the river will divert north again shortly. It'll go up, up that way. And we're getting close to the headwaters. The headwaters is another maybe 40 miles uh, east, kind of like the headwaters, <clears throat> because every, after that, everything goes into the new river. So, Yeah, you can see it's going over into, um, I forget what they call that, <laughs> but this is a Richland, War, uh, not Wardale. Um, Oh God, can't think of it. But we're gonna gain a little altitude. See if we can pick out the runway. And maybe just, uh, we've got, yeah, we can, we can land this direction at about three knots. Three knots of wind, there's rich lands. I think this is Kent's Ridge Road. I'm getting ready to cross here in a minute. Yeah, got the airport. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down. bit of a tailwind. I should probably come in the other direction. One flap. If it gets too bad, we'll go around. Looking over the nose. I don't land too much like that. I like to land like this. <laughs> that way, whenever I touch down, I can see where the... Uh, See where the nose is going. We'll fly on up t toward Burke's Garden. Okay. Killing the throttle. And braking for the stop. I like these short fields. <laughs> Takeoffs and landings. Very cool, very cool. Anyway, hope you like the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.